Oh god. We're live. Okay. I I had to I had to hurry up to start this conference. Welcome I'm a little late. But hi everyone. Yeah, time, Justin is still on the screen. And avoid any flash photography. Thank you. The show will begin shortly. The show will begin shortly. Turn off the flash, you fucking moron. Justin, get out of here. Hold on. There we go. We got rid of Justin. Oh my god, it won't let me send my tweet on Twitter.com. It won't let the masses know that I'm streaming. There we go. I had to use, I I really rushed to see this. So I just put a picture of Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Put in Bert. Yeah, they're gonna talk about the Final Fantasy VII remake. Um, probably Kingdom Hearts three. I think that's a safe bet too. Let, let's see what they have. They're still making that remake. Yeah, they showed it at like PlayStation State of Play or whatever the fuck it's called. Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. Why? Because they know you can get their money. They know they can get your money. Show Chrono from Chrono Trigger. That's what I want. Final Fantasy 15 did this because fools bought all of Final Fina Fantasy 15's dumb DLC. Final Fantasy 15 did everything wrong. I never played it, and even I don't like it. Oh boy. It's about to start. <laughs> Rip Aaron Hansen, who died after he went into a cum cool. That was the- that was the- that- that's the only joke I have for this conference. <laughs> that's the only goof I have. So I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh shit, I have to turn the volume back on. I'm sorry. Continue. Remake. Uh. <laughs> Why are we all posting Rip Aaron Hansen who died and went through he went into a cum coma? <laughs> Please. Yeah, my name is Cloud. <laughs> Wish Please my welcome. name was Cloud. Yoshinori Kitase, producer, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I just want you all to know that my computer is, like, kind of fried because I rendered that stupid Final Fantasy VII Remake as never coming out joke. So if my computer crashes during this conference, it will have been worth it. I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long-beloved title once again. After 22 years, the familiar characters we love have returned while becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. 
Oh, it was because Sienna retweeted Aaron Hansen went into a cum coma. I don't know why she did that randomly. To our longtime fans, we thank you for your support. I'm glad it's back. Over these years, and we look forward to embarking on this journey together. Get part one in next year. Wait six more years for part two. え、ファイナルファンタジー7、リメイクプロジェクトの最初の作品となる本作では、ミットガルのストーリーを広大にかつ緻密に語っております。またゲーム Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed us to dive much deeper into the world and its characters than ever before. The game design was optimized for this title. Where is Cyrus? Where the fuck is Octopath Traveler? I said that in a joke voice, but I mean it legitimately. Midgar, and is such an elaborate retelling that it has become a solid standalone game in its own right. え、これからご紹介する映像及びゲームプレイで、まあ、ファンの方の期待を決して裏切らない皆さん、あの、皆さんのね、あの、よく知っているあの、FF7に再開できることとなります。Through the content we are about to unveil today. God, I wish you were turn based. Where the fuck is Super Mario RPG 2? I know you probably said that as a joke, but I mean it legitimately. Because I don't care about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Which is blasphemy. But they should have just made it turn based. To newcomers who never played the original, uh, we present to you a completely new Final Fantasy and a perfect starting point to explore the world of Final Fantasy VII. Please welcome Neil Pabone, Senior Manager, Product Marketing, Square Enix. I am just gonna drink, like, my three water bottles all in a row, and hopefully I drown. Before I have to watch the rest of this. So, Neil is here to introduce you and walk you through gameplay. Thank you, Katasi-san. Alright, everyone. Please survive. Final Fantasy VII Remake features a hybrid gameplay system I won't. that merges real-time I'm not gonna survive this. Strategic command they're gonna show Final Fantasy, and then they're gonna show Kingdom Hearts, and then they're not gonna show anything that I care about. Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks. I don't care about action RPGs. attacks do some damage, but they barely scratch the surface. I'm here for Final Fantasy XIV news, but this looks cool. on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs a... ATB. Two ATB bars are displayed in the lower right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Make it turn base. Stupid. Once an ATB bar is full, people are going to be so you mad at me. Enter tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl, and you have the opportunity to choose Just actions from stab the them, idiot. Menu. Katasi san, I've had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. I could just sit here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. I think the audience would just like give them to a see gun. More. Isn't that right, everyone? <laughs> Fair enough. Can we get Gunblade on the screen? Yeah. Well, once in tactical mode, you can choose to perform various abilities, such as Cloud's Braver attack. Squall has that. Squall has nothing on Gunblade, okay? You want to see the real Gunblade? This is the real Gunblade. That's Gunblade. The porn star with the 22-inch dick. That's Gunblade. iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating. I like that guy because he has a gun hand. Party members, Katasi-san, when are we going to see Tifa in action? Maybe, maybe soon. Soon. All right. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATB charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATV bars. 
Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes stacked. I guarantee you, they fixed her design, and everyone on Twitter is gonna complain about SJW censorship. Or the exact opposite will happen. For players who prefer fast paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Right, Katase san? That's right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about What this. does she look like? Not great. <laughs> well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. What in the goddamn? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? <laughs> it's Metal Gear. Oh, you see, now when you get in combat and I hear this guy talking, now I like it. I like the gun arm guy. I wish she was the main character instead of Cloud. Hell yeah. Do that thunder move. <laughs> Luigi Thunder. <laughs> the gun arm guy exactly acts exactly how a guy who has a gun for an arm should act. <laughs> Get him, gun arm guy. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream. I'm, uh, drinking away, uh, the Square Enix conference. Yeah, this is Square Enix. Alright, I got two water bottles down out of three. <laughs> Except you can see how much the player <laughs> is smashing Square did I see the Battletoads Lady redesign? Do I want to? I do. I don't know if that's true. Because I have seen the Battletoads Lady before. Oh, they gave her clothes so people are angry. <laughs> of course they are! 
I I can't believe. I, I can't believe the Twitter communists took away the Battletoads lady. I can't jerk off to Battletoads. I can't do it. <laughs> But no, I haven't seen the Battletoads Lady redesign. The play style is so far a lot better than Final Fantasy XV. I'm guessing that's not a high standard. <laughs> It is an absolute honor to have you here. Katasi-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? I thought the screen was a giant PS Vita for a second. Since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this, from the direction to character design to the story. And I'm really happy to see him working on this title with the same passion that he had 22 years ago. <laughs> it has the largest stream in gaming, and the only app it has on it is Find My Isos. Get the fucking Kingdom Hearts guy off the screen, <laughs> or I will cancel Final Fantasy Remake. Where's Justin? Foremost, uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude. Oh wow, he's here! Been waiting so patiently. Oh wow, Justin's here! Supporting us Hi, Justin. Such a long time until now, and also. Um, oh, he's in the game. At gameplay right now, Justin's in Final Fantasy VII. A good bit. Ah, oh, it's so awesome! They remembered my favorite part of Final Fantasy VII, which was Justin dancing on the title screen. I'm buying this game now. And Damn, this new remake you suddenly looks awesome. Play the game? Are you gonna actually play the game? <laughs> I, I love the implication of that sentence. They weren't playing the game in that demo. Probably because they were just mashing the X button. Why are so many people on laptops? Because they'd rather be doing anything else. I don't know. Who brought their MacBook to E3? They're gaming. They're playing Octopath Traveler, the PC Steam release, which you can get now. The reporters probably. Oh, probably. So finally, there is something that we wanted to show you. Um, yesterday we showed you a short version of a trailer at the Final Fantasy VII concert. But today, today we have a longer version. Alright, please take a look. We need Ubisoft. Ah, uh, Ubisoft happened already. You have to you have to find it in the Twitch archives. Help a woman. Yeah, they showed a new Watch Dogs. It was called Watch Dogs Legacy, I think. Basically Watch Dogs 3. And T. I hope they I hope oh it's called Legion, right. I, I hope they show 
I hope they show the, uh, the big spoiler of the game. <laughs> These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. Please show the big spoiler. You can have it for saving my life. You think he's a keeper? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without no, sacrifice. Uh, if that's Tifa, she still has the same boring, boring design. It's not her. Okay. Now well, what did I say? Same boring design. <laughs> I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make it. Why does everyone love T Tifa? But not like this. For the Steve series. I just I feel trapped. <laughs> Stop. I-I'm sorry, that joke's too easy. That's too easy of, an a, of a joke. Especially since she emailed an apology to me. Uh, I am such a dick sometimes. That was a thank you, but same shit. Who was the baby? That was Pickle Rick. Is Gun Arm Guy a dad? Oh god, he should be. I'd trust a guy with a gun arm to be a dad. Gun Arm Guy is a dill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're not real. You're not real. Emo. <laughs> Sebi Watt. <laughs> oh shit, Justin! <laughs> so are we pre-ordering the whole thing, or are we pre-ordering the first part? You didn't specify that, Square Enix. That's the surprise. All I want is Chocobo game. Wow, you can get cloud. Wow. And this. Hey, just the sun I wanted to see. Feels like life is strange. In Seattle. I want a game about Justin. <laughs> Justin just got a new game. Yeah, it's called Just Dance 2020. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I love the setting, it's so beautiful, man. Time to hit the road. Time to go home. Was that the guy from Y2K? Is that Jacksepticeye? What is happening? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do this. Oh. Why does this look like all their other games? Oh my god. I miss dad. I'm so sorry. Fuck this play Minecraft story mode. 
I'm really glad I got to meet you. It's the same for me. Ah, bro hug. What a nice dude, man. It's the puppy! The puppy! <laughs> Was there a white kid with dreads? Oh, God. We got Post Malone. Or not Post Malone. Who, who's the white rapper with the dreads? I don't remember. For some reason, my mind goes to Post Malone first. Stop, Daniel. I said stop. That was so intense. It's my power. That was so intense. What the? No, that's the ending, isn't it? This game is awesome. <laughs> Choice Octopath Traveler. All right, I'm interested. Crystals this looks, so, this looks check, old. The crystal's power is not eternal. If it's old and it's from Square Enix, it's automatically good. Oh, it's Crystal Chronicles. These are the Crystal Chronicles. If we had no crystals, miasma would consume us all, correct? Never did I sure. imagine that it could be so This game is good. In online huh. multiplayer mode, caravan with friends wherever they may be. Keep the adventure close at hand. The journey now unfolds on smartphones. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. Get it on the phone. A new journey once more. Yes! What? What about Octopath? Tell me. Oh, I knew about that already. This world is full of mysteries. It, it already came to PC. Confirm Cyrus as gay. Probably gonna put it on another console. It'd be really funny if they didn't. Coming to Mac. <laughs> That's funny. My brand, I'll strike you down. I'm ready for you. Curve of her. Octopath Travel. The K word. Very undeserved better. Trust Octopath 2. What would you sacrifice for power, Octopath 2? No, I no, I would sacrifice power for Octopath 2. That's what I meant. Last remnant. Apparently, you can play that now. I don't know what that is. Mother three. It sounded like Mother 3 music. It's the one, the only, the builder's builder of a game. It's Dragon Quest Builders 2! I, I heard this game was good, actually. The children of Hargon, the vile cult that worships destruction, has outlawed the Minecraft and creation of all things and captured the builders. All hope seems to be lost until you... A young apprentice builder manages to escape the clutches of evil. 
Fight me, Goku. The shores of the Isle of Awakening, and with the help of your spirited and mysterious companion, Malroth, it is up to you to doff your mallet and club, unravel the riddles of this land, and defeat the hateful children of Harkon. Blonde haired kid looks like Yugi from Yu Gi Oh! A little bit. He reminds me of Goku a bit more. Like Super Saiyan Goku. With your new, definitely not evil partner. They're all Goku. He's like extra Goku, though. He has like the Goku hair. The first Dragon Quest Builders was post-apocalyptic? What? With a little help from the eager islanders. The world is humongous, and you'll need your wits about you to get around. Run across open fields and explore ruins, treacherous mines, and spectacular castles. Dive into the watery depths to discover hidden treasures. Find the people's story to too. The sunset. <laughs> And glide home to rest up for your yes. day of I love adventure. Super Mario World. What did I think of Watch Dogs 3? I liked the hacker grandma. It did look cool. I liked the hacker grandma. Um, I don't know if I would jump on board considering I'd never played a Watch Dogs game and my computer would probably scream trying to play it. But it looks, it looks good. on the battlefield to take down monstrous beasts. Work together with your villagers. <laughs> they should spend more time on this game than they do on the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Is it online multiplayer? Harvest anything from the humble cabbage and wheat to tantalizingly tasty tomatoes. Big projects require big, big help. You can do online. You and three friends can team up online to build anything you can imagine. Let your Are we gonna have to go Dragon Mario. Quest Builders? The only limit is your imagination. So call on your friends and build your faith. <laughs> the me that played Maple Story 2 wasn't the real me. I don't even remember what I did in Maple Story 2. I, I played it for like I think like in an hour. Only you can defeat the children of Hargon. Bring an end to destruction and save the world in Dragon Quest Builders 2! I'm so sorry that you all spent money on Maple Story 2. Yeah. Yes! What's on the switch? What is it? Ah, oh, it's Dragon Quest again. Hello, Goku. Wait, you could play- You could play this as an old school game? Oh my god, that's... I think I actually knew about that, but that's so cool. I, I want to play this in Pixel. Is this the, is this the one with Erdrick? That everyone says is going to be in Smash Brothers? Dragon Quest Eleven Definitive Edition S. That is such a wordy title. Dragon Quest Eleven Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition S. Brought to you by the same creators of Kingdom Hearts 350. You know that's one dumb title. 358 over like two. Some shit like that. So what did they release in 2016? 
that. Okay. <laughs> Brought to you by the creators of Yandere the Simulator. Did they announce any new games yet? No. I'm pretty sure it's all been games we already knew about. Oh, now they're gonna announce new games. Here we go. Hello everyone, this is Carolina. Alberto and Carlos Mastreta. And this is Car. We're a family of motorsport fans from Mexico, and we're the founders of Original Fire Games. Over the last few decades, we have seen we're making cars for in racing games. And nowadays, you can drive almost any type of car on amazing recreations of the best tracks in the world. However, we will I don't think that's what she said her name was. We want to do this by reviving a style that pioneered racing games decades ago. Our game mixes top-down racing with a classic, sharp arcade look and tactile driving physics which brings together a whole range of styles and eras of motorsport. We are delighted to share this moment with cool you EDM and show track. a sneak preview of our game, which Square Enix Collective will publish in 2020. Join us for the ride, and see you again soon. Isn't a racing game without cool France music? Let's play Mario Dubstep. Battalion, 1944. I, I think Justin likes that suggestion. First person shooters. You'll need to quickly coordinate strategies with your team on the fly, whilst keeping your movement nimble. And your aim precise if you hope to beat out the competition. Justin, don't get shot. <laughs> Justin, get out of there, it's dangerous. <laughs> Justin, no! Domination, capture the flag or team deathmatch, and perfect your tactics in the highly competitive war type game mode. Face it, competitive toolset is fully integrated into the game, bringing world-renowned competitive matchmaking, 1v1s, tournaments, rankings, and leaderboards. Kill enemies, win matches, and rank up to demonstrate your Battalion 1944 prowess and unlock visual customization rewards. Each season will bring challenges for you to complete and medals to unlock. Whilst tracking your in-game accomplishments and providing you with an easy way to compare them against your friends by in-game leaderboards. Halt the Axis offensive in their tracks with the rapid fire PPSH, or take fire with pixel precision with the Mosin Naget. I wish companies would look at Splatoon and see that they should be more as original. As their owners. See, that's a good idea on paper until they start doing the stupid things from Splatoon. Like, you can only play these two maps for the next two hours. Available now on Steam. I was so convinced that was Call of Duty until the end. It's better than Splatoon 1 where it was 4 hours. That's like... Sorry to bring up this comparison again, but that's like saying the piss I took this week is better than the piss I took last week.
Thanks, Morgan. Listen, that's what it is every time someone says, oh, well, at least it's better than this thing. No, we should not settle for less, like the Red Vox song. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3! Oh, brother! Oh, hi, it's me! The Dark Brotherhood! My name is Randy Pitchford. Brother? Oh, what's up, brother? Wanna play Borderlands 3? Yeah, brother! I think that would be pretty epic right now. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Alright. Uh, let me get my, uh, controller out. Real quick. Yeah, you got the PlayStation hooked up? I hope you don't have the Xbox hooked up. Why aren't they talking? They ran out of budget. They spent too much money trying to get Wreck-It Ralph in the game. Oh, it's me, Hulk Hogan! It's Hulk Hogan! Why is Hulk Hogan in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> I-I don't-I don't care for Kingdom Hearts either. The new, the new Kingdom Hearts DLC. <laughs> Please welcome Naoki Yoshida, producer and director. Final Kingdom Fantasy Hearts is the game with online. Goofy in it, right? Yes. <laughs> of course, I have a Glock. I'm Goofy, not stupid. Doors. Hi guys, my name is Naoki Yoshida, producer and director of Final Fantasy XIV. I made it all by myself. It was mine! Uh, I made it. すいません、短い時間ですが、僕からはいよいよこの7月2日発売となるFinalFantasy14拡張パッケージ第3弾漆黒のヴィランズの紹介をさせていただきます。So we'd like to take a little bit of your time to show off um Shadowbringers Final Fantasy 14. He's lying, Justin made it. Releasing on July the 2nd. I'm the real maker. Is this the same guy from the 7 remake? I don't I don't have a great memory. Don't think so. Okay. It's been six years since the release of a Realm Reborn. Not trying to be racist, but I say something racist anyway. Sixteen million total registered users. Plus, we have reached the highest number of active subscribers in history. Don't be racist. Be like Justin. Before the launch of Shadowbringers, this is all thanks to our players, our warriors of light. え、このシャドーブリンガーズではですね、拡張パッケージにとどまらない新作RPG1本分のボリュームとそしてゲーム体験をお届けしたいと思います。We be Shadowbringers as more than a simple expansion pack, but as a new game filled with new, uh, volume and gameplay experiences that are comparable to a brand new standalone RPG title. え、また新ジョブであるガンブレイカー、それから踊り子 新種族のロスガルとビエラなどこれからファイナルファンタシー14を始める皆さんにもたすの新規の要素が用意されていますあ、And there's so many new elements in the game for those who have yet to play Final Fantasy 14, including two new jobs, the fishing mini game. Are they gonna have VR fishing like they do in Final Fantasy 15? I thought she said VR for a second. I was like, oh my god, I'm right. Final Fantasy VII Remake no Hatsubai Big Fishing Adventure? No. This is better than Brooklyn. We are excited to bring Shadowbringers as the latest installment in the Final Fantasy franchise for our fans to enjoy. At least until 2020, March 3rd, when Final Fantasy VII Remake comes out. 
、えー、それではいよいよ7月2日、えー、ローンチとなりますがこの場で世界初公開となる My mic sounds a little weird What do you mean? ご覧いただこうと思います We are pleased to bring a world premiere of the launch trailer for Shadowbringers releasing on July the 2nd Please take a look Is it peaking? Maybe. Well, if it ain't the oldest joke in the book. I don't know. Pray tell, did we last have a dark night? Hold on. Over a hundred. I lowered my volume and the trailer's audio in OBS. In that chaotic no man's land between realms, time and space war and blend. Unexpected ways. Everything, right, right. Everything that was asked of us. What Orianger saw was the future. I, I, I used to know more people addicted to this game. I don't think any of them play it now, but. I remember this people had people's attention for a while. Once the change is brought, there is no going back. Don't they sell, like, Final Fantasy XI, which is also an MMORPG, for, like, the same price as it launched? Another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether. Like, 17 years ago? The Onion Man, Harley Quinn, and of course, Cat Boy. A Cat Boy. A Cat Boy. We got a Cat Boy. I don't know what this this voice I'm doing. Cat girls. Oh. Oh. Cat girls. Like those who try to. I wish I could turn into Thanos so I could snap all cat girls from existence. Does Justin like cat girls? If you ever insinuate something so disgusting about Justin ever again, I will unmod you. What was it for? How dare you? I'm gonna the gnome, Blin. I'm gonna the gnome. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnome. No, Justin's gay. Does he like cat boys? No. I mean, cat boys are fine, I guess. Cat girls gotta go though. He likes cat boys, but like 40 year olds. Become a warrior of darkness. Cat misogyny from Morgan. Listen, I've never had a good experience related to cat girls. So no one can make me like cat girls ever. I will discriminate against cat girls. Awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods, but. They are gods after a fashion, yes. They need to start making Yu-Gi-Oh games that are actually good. Is that Square Enix? Of primals. I don't remember. I can't remember shit. Two of them are. Konami makes them? Okay. Oh, Konami doesn't make video games anymore, unfortunately. 
Excuse me? I travel. Oh, I tremble. Here, here's tonight's... Here's this stream's uh, song I get copyrighted for. I get copyright claimed. War of Mine? Maybe. Hello, neighbor. You know, I'm just realizing that a stealth game is just a horror game without the horror. Dying Light 2. Why does that feel like a game they've already showed? This E3. Of course, Slimer from Ghostbusters. Two RPG classics. Which ones? Oh, I like this because it has pixel graphics. That instantly gets me on board. <laughs> Mother 3! <laughs> Guys, it's Monday three. <laughs> Lucas looking a bit different. Octopath. It is kind of like Octopath. You get you get different characters with different stories. What is this game? <laughs> See, this doesn't look as interesting to me. <laughs> Almost guarantee there's only one person in the E3 conference who's like, oh, it's a choice game. <laughs> Might be Telltale. Ah, yes, Telltale. I hope nothing terrible happened to them. I hope nothing terrible happened to Telltale. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Enjoyed by fans. <laughs> Minecraft Story Mode Ripoff. Now. Square I'm on your phone. presents the international reveal of a new title born from the FFBE universe. Justin, look out! War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. These two titles. Play our fucking FFBE garbage mobile War game, you Visions, stupid bitch. The pillars of the growing world of Lapis. These titles mean nothing. This is the story of Square Enix doesn't have a single game that has a meaningful title. And you can say, oh, you'd be surprised. No. You'll, you'll be surprised that it's still exactly how stupid you think it is. Why are there so many Final Fantasy games? Because it used to be good. Octopath Traveler makes sense. That's like the exception though, because that's the first in a series, and usually they don't fuck up the first one. 
Just re-release the Dragon Quest slime controller or I'll kill you. The savages has organized the barbarian tribes into Ardura's mightiest militant state. Was it? The Great Eastern Kingdom. So is it a safe assumption to guess that this is a gotcha game? Crystal Sanctum, a religious city-state with believers throughout Ardra. Like this is a gotcha game, right? To be God. Each burden with its own dignity. Thus is the curtain drawn on a struggle in which the fate of nations rests. It is. Of course it is. Every mobile game is, for one is a gotcha game now. <laughs> they made Mario Kart into a gotcha game. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. Now in development. I, I can get everyone more excited if I just put Justin on the screen. You're definitely not the only one who's upset about Telltale, especially the fact that all their games are just gone. All their games are just gone. You will never see them again. And I mean, not that their games were amazing, but at least in my opinion, but Minecraft story mode lost media. <laughs> We'll never know what happens in Minecraft story mode. Did they do it? Did they mine in craft? Please welcome. Did they take the games off of Steam? I think they did by now. Studio head. People can fly. You four gets pegged. God. <laughs> All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sebastian Wojcicki, studio head of You Can Fly, the studio behind Bulletstorm and Gears of War Judgment. Yeah. Any Bulletstorm fans in the house? All right. Well, let me tell you, it feels great to be here and feels amazing to be able to finally announce Outriders. We have to put an F in chat for Telltale now. I'd like to Rest thank in goddamn peace. At People Can Fly. You guys are amazing. And I know that some of you are watching this live, even though it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Poland. So make a noise for them, please. Yeah, make a noise for the Europeans in chat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh God, I can't move, Justin. Get out of here. For the help and support as we work together on this exciting new IP. You know, over the past few <laughs> years, right People now. Can Fly has grown to over. 200 developers and four studios across Poland, the UK, and most recently the US to bring you what is our most ambitious shooter to date. Yeah, more, more shooters. That's exactly what we want to see at E3 is <laughs> more shooters. More of our vision, I would like to take this moment to introduce a short video from our game director, Bartik Mita. So thanks a lot. More on Outriders this winter. Thank you. Are people in Europe real? Let's discuss. No. <laughs> I don't think so either. I think they just made that shit up for notes. It's our passion. And it's what we do. Outriders draws on Kerbifer tweeted about being Therion. 
Curve refer, can you tweet about it's a game going away? We wanted to make for a very long time. Let's guillotine and curb refer. We describe Outriders as a dark, modern shooter built with traditional bodies. By that, I mean we are creating an experience with a strong story that you can enjoy with your friends or on your own. We want to tell a public execution for Kerbifer. We are confident we are building a shooter with a powerful gunplay, incredible weaponry, and a hostile new world we want to spend many hours in. Notch hasn't it's done anything since 2013 except since uh, build a candy wall and get mad at women on Twitter. One, two, or three player. They didn't say anything about for Bravely. In our game, you will create your own Outrider and journey across the hostile planet of Vino in search of the source of a mysterious signal. It's, it's a pretty dark and unforgiving world. And yes, there is a lot more depth to the game, but I can't say it much more right now. Minecraft's having like a renaissance right now. People are like a bunch of people are playing Minecraft again. Reincarnation is the foundation of our way of life. We celebrate the lives we've been given and offer up prayers for the next. They're mostly it's showing off games we already knew about. <laughs> yeah. And causes the dead to stray. Indeed. I, I genuinely don't feel I've been shown that much courage. just because <laughs> we've so seen so much of this already. As we send off the dead. But the souls of those who held back their tears in life still need salvation in death. Justin made you choke to on the water. Falls to the Watchers. The Watchers sever the bonds that tie the lost to this world and send them off to the next. They navigate the emotions of the living and the dead. They prize life above all else. This is the story of one watcher. Man, that could be cool, I think. It wasn't like super interesting to me, but it could be fun. Final Fantasy VIII. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if people like Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't know what, what people's opinions of Final Fantasy VIII are. <laughs> Justin Dance is my new favorite Gerby Cinematic Universe character. <laughs> What the hell is Final Fantasy? I, I would rather them show the old Final Fantasies than the new ones. Because at least the old ones were good.
This is an old one, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather see this than Final Fantasy, like, 7 Remake. <laughs> Full house! <laughs> Whatever happened to predictability? The milk might in the paper. Why is Avengers here? Hello? <laughs> Ew, Marvel. Oh shit, it, it froze. Hello, San Francisco. And introducing everyone's favorite Avenger. Ah oh, yeah, I'm flying around with you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> just, I, I, I'm glad this Justin joke isn't old yet. Well, this looks like it could be fun if I cared about Marvel. <laughs> I won, man! Justin fell into the ocean. No, a brief sacrifice. The world just hasn't been the same since Justin passed. Avengers pose a danger to society. That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. That's the Justin statue. <laughs> That's right, I'm back, baby! <laughs> I really like this rewrite. <laughs> Marvel Avengers, that's the game title. Not to be confused with Marvel Avengers the movie. Please welcome or Marvel Avengers Sean the comic. Guy, creative director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Vice President and Creative Director, Marvel Games. Here he is. Yeah. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Justin did. We are did. incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. Justin died, but he's okay. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to be Earth's mightiest heroes. Do I have they, any they, true believers in the house? We, we, need, we need them to say this game really makes because you feel like Spider-Man. You instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this As the, as the funny reviewer phrase. Crystal's interpretation 
of these iconic characters. Our story begins at A Day, as San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast. <laughs> Where's the Joker? <laughs> and the team's custom helicarrier. Oh, I wish Joker was at E3. Experimental energy source. I wish I sometimes I could still hear his voice. When an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Blamed for the Oh, there he is! The Avengers are Oh, Joker's at E3. <laughs> 5 years later, a horrific <laughs> He's yeah, he's in the audience. <laughs> and our only hope is to reassemble. <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all-new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most and fighting to get it back. Yeah! Yeah! The stream's frozen? Oh, shit. Might just be you, which sucks. Favorite Avengers is an oxymoron. Acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers, and learning that together we are mighty. My favorite Avenger is Spider-Man from Spider-Verse. Super Soldier, Captain America. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. You'll channel the anger of scientist Bruce Banner by unleashing the Hulk. Which Spider vs. Spider Man? All of them. Strike swiftly as the ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. And finally, you'll blast through the sky as the charismatic Tony Stark. Known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them we have Justin. <laughs> the charismatic war criminal. <laughs> I'm a war criminal. Check out these dogs. So, here we are. Avengers assembled. Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come to Square Enix I, conference for Marvel. I came for anime RPGs. I am and I played Captain America. I'm Travis Willing. They're not going to show a single new turn-based RPG. I am Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. And I think it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of those vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that that Bruce is The only downfall of this is that they don't have the actors as the voiceover before. cast. It's very relatable about I mean, is, you can be a good actor without being a good voice actor, human. is the she's thing. By all of this larger than life. Stuff, and she that would also be expensive, yeah. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years. From For me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye, you know. One of the things I think is cool about Cap is I never feel like he, uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as well, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's gonna be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is... <laughs> do not shake. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game, but right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a science? heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <laughs> and you knew that you knew that- I'm sorry, but Bruce Banner in this kind of looks like Huey. We just give up. We didn't. 
give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. We failed Justin. Please welcome Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior community and social media manager, Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> Tell looks like Huey about this. Scott Anus? What? Hello, E3. Scott Amos. You've just, <laughs> you've just seen a high-level view of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. But launch is only the beginning of this adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Like the Avengers, you and your friends are stronger together. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online where you can master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the Earth from ever escalating threats. Oh yes, oh yes. And to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. Oh yes. I want to play as Justin. <laughs> so our promise to the community is that we won't have random loot boxes or pay-to-win scenarios. Yeah. Who says Justin isn't Spider-Man? I'm, I'm in the game. I'm in the game. You're not in the game. You're not in the game. I'm in the game. Marvel Games, I know you're out here. <laughs> IDOS Montreal, these guys are here. Nixie Software. Our new Crystal Northwest studio, and everyone at Square Enix. <laughs> Holy shit, Justin speaks. So Is Justin going to be attending Nintendo as well? What did you say, help games. over? We have oh, I hate that. Gameplay demo in our booth that will don't show don't you send, more don't send scary games. images like that. It's original story, and our superheroes in action. Why 2K Hulk? <laughs> So, Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. We got Not Switch, though. <laughs> and we're, excited we're, we're going to, to Stadia, though. To bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Be sure to get that Stadia release. Access, and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. I can't believe developers are taking but the Stadia we seriously. Go, we have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. <laughs> this is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. Damn it. What's the Stadia? It's Google's streaming console thing. Come on, Tony, live a little. So Winston for a second. Yeah, I accidentally pressed on the Winston I have. Sort of cute when they're small. Ah, didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. Avengers May 15th, 2020 
I, I put... I put a lot of effort into this. Not really. <laughs> but, yeah, that was... That was Square Enix. That was an E3. <laughs> we gotta bring up the, uh, that was an E3 image. That was an that was an E3. <coughs> um, Dragon Quest looks cool, but we knew about that. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered looks cool. We didn't know about that. At least I don't think we did. But um, so I don't know how loud this is compared to my voice. Seems pretty loud. Very loud. <laughs> Hold on, is this better? It improves the experience. <laughs> I literally don't think I could make. I I have to like put this, like way down for it to not be blasting. This MIDI trumpet is so loud. But yeah, that was, that was Square Enix's. Um. Not terrible. I mean, they just kind of meandered and showed a lot of shit we knew about with not a whole lot new to show. When is Nintendo? Um, hold on. I had to go to Square Enix's website for some reason. So. But, um, Nintendo is in 13 hours. It is at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific. You, you can convert the time zones. But we're all we're almost there. No way you will be awake. I'm so sorry. Sleeping through that shit. Um I'm gonna be awake for it. I'm gonna stream Nintendo's E3. It's probably gonna be the one I get the most excited for. I mean, that's I I am a Nintendo fan. I like Nintendo's games. So, I I'll probably enjoy it. I don't think... I don't think I will go ape shit over it. I'm keeping my expectations low. I guarantee whatever Smash Brothers character they have, it won't be as cool as people think. I, I don't think... I hope they put Mario in Smash. Oh, that's ridiculous. They'd never do something so crazy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you playing a joke on me? But uh, yeah, that was that was Square Enix. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake has been canceled, unfortunately. So uh, we're not looking forward. Can't look forward to that anymore, sadly. But um, oh, I hope you enjoy Octopath Traveler on Google Stadia. Hope you enjoy that. But, um, yeah, th thanks for coming to the stream. I'm gonna head off for the night. I'm pretty tired. I had to do three separate streams today. <laughs> thanks for the stream. No problem. Thanks for coming. Um, but yeah, I'm done. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, Nintendo's E3. And then later that day, since there's not more E3 stuff that I care about to stream, uh, I will do the Hat in Time Arctic Cruise DLC. So look forward to that. Oh, the video just ended. No. The MIDI. I need that crunchy MIDI in my life. But yeah, thanks for coming. We'll be back tomorrow. And we'll, we'll be back for real. We'll be back for a real stream. Can't wait for ship shape. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I, I already got a bad feeling about this. But yeah, thanks for coming. I, I'm done for the night. Good night.